Many of the stunts you are about to see are extremely dangerous. Under no circumstances should they be attempted by viewers. Tonight, live, you'll witness record-breaking history as one man stares down death by riding a motorcycle through this tunnel, a blistering 1,300-degree, 200-foot firestorm. Can he do it? We'll find out as we count down the 100 most amazing Guinness World Records of all time. Tonight, it's a countdown like you've never seen before. We've scoured the globe to bring you the outrageous, the most dangerous, and the wildest the world has ever seen. You'll see the strongest, the longest, the highest, the hairiest. He was so much more hairier. He's very sweet. And the scariest. The faces only a mother could love. The stunts only crazies could try. And the freakiest only Guinness World Records could find. This patient had hair and teeth in this massive tumor. Plus, a life is on the line in our live, fiery finale you must see to believe. Fire! They are the most memorable moments the world has ever witnessed. And we've got the top 100 right here, live. Sunday night, we're in Los Angeles. I'm Fern Cotton. Tonight, we have turned this city street into a raging tunnel of fire. This is not a camera trick, nor a special effect. It's all about the raw courage of one man who tonight will put his life on the line by racing straight into this inferno. But as you can see, the wind and it has been blowing around, the, the rain's been here all day. It's all adding a certain twist. So throughout the show, we'll be consulting with our safety experts and a meteorologist to track the progress of the storm. But first, we kick off our show with our Guinness World Records Top 100 Countdown with another brave man who's gotten a lot of buzz. At number 100, most bees on a human being. Today, Mark Biancaniello hopes to break the previous Guinness World Record of 81 pounds of bees on one person. He starts with the queen bees, because all the other half million bees will naturally follow. Okay, bees, bees. You can bring the bees over to me. They must move fast. At 120 degrees in Mark's suit, he could overheat, suffocate, or be stung to death. Paramedics stand by in case of an emergency. At this point, Mark has 49 and a half pounds of bees on his body. Halfway there, and they dump thousands more bees down his pants. Need more bees? And finally, Mark has broken the record. 87 and a half pounds of bees, making him the new Guinness World Record holder of most bees on a human being and he was only stung a dozen times. Number 99, highest slackline walk. <sighs> Christian Sku is attempting to cross a Norwegian fjord 3,280 feet high. That's about three Eiffel Towers tall. He tests the line first and he's ready to begin. Christian walks on a nylon webbed line 39 feet across and one inch wide. Unlike a tightrope, a slack line can bounce. He makes it across. He now shares the Guinness World Record with his colleague Alexander Moore for the highest slack line walk. Number 98, world's tiniest waist. Kathy and Bob Young love Victorian costuming so much, together they decided why not make her body fit the part. Literally. No tummy tucks here. Kathy gets her 15-inch waist the old-fashioned way, corseted and bound. One of the ways to do it is to get what's called a training belt. 
To maintain this hourglass figure, she's been tied up every day for 23 and a half hours for the past 25 years. Making Kathy Young the Guinness World Record holder for world's smallest waist. Number 97, highest dive into 12 inches of water. Denver-born Darren Taylor is trying to break his previous world record. This tower, 34 feet, 11 inches, is two feet taller than his last tower. His technique, never look down. And bam, into 12 inches of water in a kiddie pool? Let's see that one more time. In May 2006 in Madrid, Spain, Darren Taylor broke his own record, 34 feet, 11 inches into 12 inches of water. Number 96, world's biggest wave surfed. A day at the beach for pro surfer Pete Cabrina is catching the big ones. But this Hawaiian native in his 40s could never have predicted the size of the record-breaking wave curling off Maui. Once I got on that thing, I, I kind of had a feeling that it was bigger than, than normal. Much bigger. Pete's on a monster wave measuring an astounding 70 feet, almost seven stories high. <laughs> It wasn't until a couple days later when I saw some photos that I knew I had a bomb. And that bomb exploded into a Guinness World Record for the highest wave ever surfed. Gnarly. Now that surfer facing a wall of fire is nothing compared to Clint facing this tunnel of flames. Check it out. The extremely dangerous weather conditions as well as a 1,300 degree tunnel of flames. Look at that. 1,307 degrees tunnel of flame is nothing short of a deadly combination. As a matter of precaution, our crew is now going to turn down the propane jets to lower the temperature of the tunnel, as the concrete actually exploded when we first tested at this heat. So while we cool things off, let's heat things up. Number 95, world's most tattooed man. Meet Leopard Man, the 2005 record holder as the most tattooed man. On this remote Scottish island, our spotted hermit makes his home. Some people will be shocked. Others will pretend not to notice. Tom Leopard lives in the ruins of a 200-year-old cottage, listens to Beethoven, and travels by kayak to get supplies like the custom-made fangs that complete his look. And with 99% of his body covered, including his private parts, you can bet this is one leopard who definitely won't be changing his spots. Number 94, most worms eaten. Sitting before each of you is a plate containing 250 night crawlers. You will all have exactly 30 seconds to eat as many worms as possible. Go! Our record holder, Mark Hogg, uses his down-home Kentucky one hand. But Dennis is having a little trouble keeping them all down. Dainty Maggie tosses her head back to help. And Jedediah is going with the old two-hand shove them down any way I can. Mouths open, no worms. And a quick tally reveals the 1998 Guinness World Record is 62 worms eaten in 30 seconds by reigning world champion Mark Hogg, living up to his name. Number 93, world's tallest man. A herdsman from Inner Mongolia, 2006 tallest man Bao Shishun tops out at a skyscraping seven foot nine inches. And he married a girl from his hometown who's half his age and two thirds his height. Number 92, from tall to small, we've got the shortest human. 19 year old Hei Ping Ping, also from Inner Mongolia, is two feet five inches, making this mini man a great big record holder. Number 91, world's longest hair. Meet the wigged out Sabjib Hai Rabwa, the man with the ultimate hair extension. Only his hair is real, all 42 feet of it. This 50 year old gentleman from India holds the Guinness World Record for longest hair. He hasn't cut it in 40 years, and he can't even take it down without a few close friends. Number 90, most dominoes toppled. Go. World Domino Day is off and falling. 90 very patient people spent two months stacking up millions of dominoes in patterns to create the theme of music in motion. We have a record.
records. Four million seventy nine thousand three hundred and eighty one dominoes go down. Just try on top of that. Now, Clint Ewing, our motorcycle daredevil, isn't the first to take on a blazing tunnel of fire. People have tried and all have failed. Now, in 2006, Englishman Stephen Brown attempted 200 feet of flames only to smash into the fiery walls, destroying his bike and breaking his collarbone. But putting fear and some might say common sense aside, tonight Clint Ewing will attempt this same Guinness world record live. Don't go anywhere. Clint Ewing gets his first taste of fire. That's fire! Plus, terrifying toenails and the world's most dangerous bath. You won't believe your eyes or his ears when Guinness World Records Top 100 Live returns. Live counting down the Guinness World Records Top 100, which culminates with a record-breaking, death-defying motorcycle run through a 200-foot tunnel of fire. Check it out. You'll meet our daredevil in a few moments, but before that, let's have a look at another guy who also risks life and limb Dale for Rutter. a record. Do you know Number 89, greatest distance flown in wingsuit. In May 1998, Adrian Nicholas donned his custom wingsuit and attempted to set a world record. Three, two, one. Reaching speeds of up to 120 miles per hour, Adrian soared across the skies for 4.7 miles, over houses, highways, and into the Guinness World Records book. That was really, really good. Number 88, world's longest toenails. Those toenails, look at that. In Compton, California, Louise Hollis stops traffic. Wow, that's a nice one. Thank you. She loves her nails so much, she even shows them over her husband. He was so upset at the attention that they attracted, and he told me, nails go or I go. I said, well, I've had you for 22 years, you can split. But she kept her Guinness World Record for the longest nails. Ten toenails totaling 87 inches. Number 87, longest walk over hot coals. Prayer walking is our oldest form of prayer. It goes back 4,000, 5,000 years. In 2006 in Calgary, Trevor McGee hotfoots it over 1,100 degree burning coals into the Guinness World Records book for the longest fire walk at 294 feet. It's an unbelievable high. It's a Number 86, most rattlesnakes with human and bathtub. In Dublin, Texas, Jackie Bibby, a snake handler for 39 years, is trying to break his world record for sitting with 75 snakes in a bathtub. These rattlesnakes can bite and sometimes with deadly consequences. It's already getting crowded in here. A little. 85, 86, and 87. He did it. Jackie Bibby broke his own record for sitting in a bathtub with the most rattlesnakes. Man, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Number 85, fastest climb with piano on back. This musical virtuoso from Lyon, Spain, makes his piano portable. Jose Angel Aria hauls his 385 pound load up 15 steps. Number 84, most glass panes smashed by head. German fullback Martin Latka is hoping to crash his way through these 10 panes of safety glass in one minute. These guys can't even break it with a bat, and Martin is going to try it with his head. Goal! That's five. That's ten. He shattered the Guinness World Record for the most panes of safety glass run through in one minute. 
I literally have a headache just watching that. Now, look, we here in Los Angeles may just be facing the strongest storm we've seen here in months. There really are very real concerns how the weather will affect our stunt. So to give us a better understanding where we stand with the storm conditions, we have Steve Roberts, Senior Meteorologist at CompuWeather. Steve, what's the latest? Well, Fern, winds will be gusty. They'll be gusting to up near 25 miles per hour. And in addition, we will have a few light showers that will be passing through over the next hour. Okay, Steve, this weather is not good for the stunt or my hair, can I just let you know. I'm, I'm really hoping for good weather, but thank you, Steve. We'll check in with you later. Fingers crossed, but first, it was all systems go for these next daring record holders. Check it out. Number 83, heaviest aircraft pulled by one man. I got one shot at this, and it's just got to work. Aussie strongman David Huxley says, forget weight. Give me a 184-ton Boeing I can pull. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. The wheels aren't moving yet. Come on, David. Yeah. Yes, they're moving. Go, 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 go. He's running. He's running. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Operation Plane Pull is a success. The jet has moved the length of a football field. Oh, nice. oh, sit down for a minute. Yep. <laughs> Exhausted, David Huxley is the new Guinness World Record holder for the heaviest aircraft pulled at 184 tons. Number 82, most clothespins on face. In 2000, the book was all but closed on clothespin records until Kevin Thackwell reopened the book and got people talking. I know you, so I've seen you in national papers or I've seen you on the national TV. By applying 110 painful pins to his grill, he walked away with the ultimate facelift and the record for most clothespins on his face. Number 81, world's ugliest dog. Chi-Chi turns heads away. This African sand dog holds the Guinness World Record for winning the most ugliest dog contests. Seven, making him our best in show. Number 80, fastest speed dragged by a motorcycle. Gary Rothwell is passionate about going fast, but riding a motorcycle at record speeds was not dangerous enough for him. This is going to work. He needed to push the limits further. This type of stunt obviously is very dangerous. Gary will attempt to break his own 150 mile an hour record for the fastest speed while being dragged behind a motorcycle. He takes it to 80 miles an hour before maneuvering to the back of the bike. The titanium boots keep his feet from being shredded. From the back, he can steer, but he can't stop the bike without jumping back into the seat. And he's back on the bike. It actually feels faster than what I've done in the past. The results are in. At 156.3 miles per hour, Gary has set a new world record for the fastest speed drag behind a bike. The only thing left to do, cool his heels. Top speed. Number 79, most people crammed into a car. Meet the Mini. And the 22 Spaniards ready to do a little car cramming on live TV. All doors must fully close. And we have a new Guinness World Record for 22 people in a Mini Cooper. I actually have that same car, but um, weirdly haven't tried that and won't be. Now, if you're wondering whether Clint is an experienced Hollywood stuntman, you'd actually be surprised. Clint is just a regular guy, an amateur motorcyclist with a dream to break a Guinness World Record. Take a look. But being on a motorcycle is just uh, so fulfilling. In third grade, I looked at my dad and I said, you know, Dad, I want to get a motorcycle. By the fifth grade, he was racing quite a bit. My first race is actually last place. But Clint's mother, an ER nurse, always worried about his riding. And one day, her worst fears came true. I had been working when my husband came in. When I saw Clint fall, I knew it was going to be a bad deal. Bloodied with a broken arm and a broken foot, Clint endured and continued to ride. I'd say my top speed right now is 85 miles an hour in a wheelie. I love speed, but I love tricks. I just love entertaining in general. 
I want to do this stunt because it's a level of intensity that I want to rise up to. I'm going to be riding my motorcycle like any other day, but this time it's going to be filled with fire. It should be no problem. Okay, this is good. He's confident, but can he face the biggest test of his life? You can decide for yourself. We'll meet him after the break. Still to come. Our cup runneth over. The Super Bowl of bras. Plus, tennis anyone? It'll be a smash. You know the drill. Our top ten will top them all. When Guinness World Records Top 100 Live returns. Welcome back live to Los Angeles and the Tunnel of Fire. Now, as these next record holders will show, sometimes setting a world record means you have to dress for success. Number 78, most rhinestones on a body. Being a slave to fashion doesn't come easy. Model Marisa Kaplan has to lay naked on a table for 10 hours while designer Tina Marie Stoker and her assistants painstakingly apply each stone by hand creating a living, breathing work of art. I just feel sexy and basically I feel nude, but obviously I'm not, I'm covered. And with 26,000 rhinestones, she not only has a lot of sparkle, but received a 1999 Guinness World Record. Number 77, world's largest bling. Hip hop artist Lil Jon calls himself the king of crunk, but we know him as the king of bling. He shelled out a cool half million for this ice. It's set with over 3,000 white diamonds and it's a heavy five pounds, which makes him the Guinness World Record holder for the largest pendant. Number 76, largest group of Elvis impersonators. This is the small town of Parks in Australia. Here the jailhouse rocks as they honor Elvis Presley with the annual festival that draws half of their 15,000 people. Thank you very much. 147 Australian Elvises, or Elvi, are the collective Guinness World Record holders for the largest gathering of Elvis impersonators. Number 75, most t-shirts worn at once. It took four hours for Matt McAllister to put on progressively bigger and bigger shirts. Wearing an extra 100 pounds, Matt is the September 2006 Guinness World Record holder for the most t-shirts worn at once. 155. Number 74, longest beard on a living female. Vivian Wheeler from Wood River, Illinois, holds the Guinness World Record for the longest beard on a living woman. See, it's all naturally shaped. But it wasn't official until Guinness World Records checked Vivian's birth certificate and tested her for steroids. It took four failed marriages and her mother's death for Vivian to finally let her hair down. I shaved after mother died, and then I let it grow back again. And now Vivian embraces her uniqueness and her Guinness World Record for the longest beard at 11 inches. Hairy and proud, I like it. Now if that last record holder took it on the chin, this next guy puts his money where his mouth is. And this is not for the squeamish. Number 73, largest scorpion held in mouth. This is an African emperor scorpion. It measures seven inches to be exact. Now imagine that scorpion in your mouth. The big scorpion, his main concern are his claws. His claws are strong enough to where if he wanted to, he could remove my tonsils or cut my tongue in half. Dean Sheldon from Castaic, California doesn't seem to mind the tonsil tickler and attempts to set a new record. But the scorpion is not eager. An involuntary tonsillectomy or sting in his mouth could cause Dean to suffocate. As seconds seem like hours. He's done it. The seven inch scorpion is in his mouth. Dean Sheldon now has the Guinness World Record for holding the largest scorpion in his mouth. Number 72, fastest cup stacker. Competition's great here. Welcome to the world of sports stacking. The competition pits super stackers against the clock with complicated cup combinations. 
Here, 10-year-old Steven Perugunen wins the world record for the cycle stat in an outstanding 7.23 seconds. Number 71, heaviest vehicle pulled by earrings. All the way from mainland China, Mr. Gao Lin is clearly a man with a sense of style. But these hooks are more functional than fashionable. All right, perfect. Gao hopes his hoops will haul this Volkswagen across this Beijing stage. That's 3,443 pounds of German engineering attached to his ears. He's pulled the car 33 feet. We have a new world record. For the heaviest vehicle pulled by earrings. Number 70, most knives thrown in one minute. Three, two, one. The great Rodini, revered doctor David Adamovich, makes his mark tossing knives. The dropped ones don't count. Luckily, none of his assistants have ever been seriously injured. Five, four, three, two, one. Rodini's official record is 102 knives thrown around a live target. Number 69, longest fingernails on both hands. Lee Redmond from Salt Lake City has not one, but two handfuls of knockout nails. She's been growing them since 1979. They were healthy, and I thought, oh, well, I'm going to see how far they go before they start twisting out of shape. But they never did. Now with nails at a whopping 24 feet 7 inches, Lee holds the Guinness World Record for the longest fingernails on a pair of hands. We've been talking about him, now it's time to talk to him. Clint, it is great to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Now, look just to our left here, as we can see the 200 foot long tunnel of fire that reaches up to 1600 degrees. Yep. Now, looking at this, what on earth is going through your head? Well, it's like, how did I get roped into something like this? And, uh, you know, but looking at it, I mean, it's definitely hard to try to understand when you're not looking at it, how hot it's going to be until you're really here, you know? Clint, I think a lot of people out there, including myself, are wondering why. Why, why, why would you do this? You know, I've been asking myself that same question. But, I mean, you know, everybody gets a challenge in front of them, some, you know, sometime in life. And it just seems like this is my calling. You know, how silly that may sound. But it's something I just want to tackle and shatter. You know? You've just got to do it. And, look, obviously, let's talk about this. Two guys have tried this before and failed this attempt. They were professionals. You're a computer salesman. Why do you actually think you can do this? I think I got as good a shot as they do, if not better. I mean, I've been riding for a long time, and uh, my, my, my uh, confidence is just through the roof right now. So. Well, look, Clint, I'm so excited for you. Good luck. Go get focused and go get yourself ready. Thank you. Okay, see you in a bit. Good luck to Clint. We'll see Clint's live record-setting attempt coming up just a little later. Coming up, Clint's first trial by fire. You want to back out? Plus, draw and order, a crime-solving artist, more bikinis than Baywatch, the longest liquor, and a mouthful of menace. But the hairiest is yet to come when Guinness World Records Top 100 Live returns. You're looking live at the paramedics, fire and rescue workers on the scene for Clint's attempt to break a world record by racing through a 200 foot blazing tunnel of fire. Now this is no gimmick, no trick photography and no joke. Clint is literally risking his life to set a Guinness World Record. As a reminder, the stunts you're seeing here tonight are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted anytime, anywhere. And that certainly includes this next one. Number 68, highest skywalk at 21,400 feet. In Somerset, England, Mike Howard will attempt to walk between two hot air balloons. In order to qualify for this record, Mike has to surpass a height of 18,000 feet. Okay! Mike and crew reach 21,400 feet. At this altitude, an oxygen apparatus is necessary. for the highest altitude balloon skywalk. Number 67, most criminals identified from one sketch artist. Picture this. For 25 years, Texas native Lois Gibson has been helping the Houston Police Department capture criminals by drawing them. 
As the top sketch artist, her illustrations are so accurate they have been instrumental in identifying 523 criminals and solving over a thousand cases in Texas. Her passion for justice has made her the Guinness World Record holder for the most successful forensic artist. Number 66, most Guinness World Records held. New Yorker Ashrita Furman has a special place in Guinness World Record history and has traveled to 30 countries and 7 continents to get there. He holds the record for holding the most Guinness World Records, 70. I didn't think I could do it. Number 65, world's longest hot dog. It takes the best and the brightest to brainstorm how to make the world's longest hot dog. This all-American food makes its unlikely debut in the Grand Ballroom at Tokyo's Akasaka Prince Hotel. 60 meter and 30 centimeter. Making it the Guinness World Record for the longest hot dog at 197 feet. Number 64, World's Heaviest Twins. Billy and Benny McCrary have been big since they were little. Finally tipping the scales at a combined 1,466 pounds, they have double billing as the world's heaviest twins. Their pants are a little large, I guess you can tell why they're sagging here in the front. There's only one way to fill them out. Breakfast. A dozen orders of bacon, half gallon of orange juice. I'll see if I'm still hungry for I eat the pancakes. With waist measuring a rotund 84 inches, the twins' record-setting size is blamed on a pituitary disorder. It's tough to get around, even requiring two airline seats apiece when traveling. Anybody laughs at me and Benny, as long as they laugh and whiff us, it's okay. But if they laugh at us, we'll step on their toes. You see that? When you're a twin, you have to share everything, even a record. Now, I would love to give this next guy a round of applause for his record, but in truth, he could probably take care of that himself. Number 63, world's fastest clapper. I actually set the record for most claps in a minute. 721 times in a minute. Ken French was a percussion major in college, and his superior rhythm combined with a technique of putting baby oil on his hands reduced friction that led to this. You really gotta hand it to him. Thank you. 721 claps per minute. Number 62, fastest speed in air. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was the first aircraft designed to evade radar protection. Streaking through the sky at an unbelievable 2,200 miles an hour is the record-setting military stealth spy plane launched in 1964. Traveling over three times the speed of sound means this two-seater can get you from Los Angeles to New York in less than an hour and a half. Number 61, world's fastest office. Ever get tired of your boss breathing down your neck? Ed China's Guinness World Record-breaking fastest office would take care of that. You stare with the keyboard here. You have a working computer hidden under the desk. You have a working telephone as well, so you can phone whoever you need to phone. As you can hear, there's a horn. <laughs> now that's what I call telecommuting. Number 60, world's fastest rapper. Give it up for Rebel XD, a rip-roaringly fast rapper out to break the record 674 syllables in under a minute. Woo! Y'all ready to witness this? Keeping track, a digital recording verifying each syllable, backed up by the world's fastest court reporter. And ready, set, go! I'm coming to rock and I'm taking the rap, I'm breaking them up. When we're coming to take them, I'm taking them up on my side. When they get them, I'm taking them out. When we're seeking the mic, I'm giving them a hit. When we're jumping, looking at the radical villain, the cinema style. I'm putting them back in line. When I'm making them rhyme, when I'm taking the sand, it's luck. And I'm taking the duck and I'm breaking them up. When I hit them, meant to rubber erupt. <laughs> So what did our court reporter report? I'm a common. <laughs> and then I kind of lost it after that. <laughs> Thankfully, digital technology can keep track of the numbers. 683 syllables in an amazing 54 and a half seconds. Our 1998 Guinness World Record fastest rapper. I'm gonna take a rapper, Yo, yo, yiggity, yo, coming up, we've got more twists with the world's most flexible man, and we scrambled to show you the most eggs crushed by hand, the largest bikini photo shoot ever done, and Mr. Popular, the man with the world's longest tongue. We'll be back in a bit. Welcome back to the Guinness World Records Live Top 100. We have got a jam-packed show tonight, but our next guy was actually, well, pretty easy to squeeze in. 
Number 59, World's Most Flexible Man. Floridian Daniel Smith enjoys putting himself in tight spots. Can I check your arm? Yeah, it's normal. As the world's most flexible man, Daniel can dislocate both arms and legs and turn his torso 180 degrees. He's so flexible, he's going to attempt to put himself through a tennis racket three times in one minute. And you get it for a record! Oh! Number 58, largest gathering of people dressed as gorillas. <laughs> 637 pretend primates take to the streets of London to benefit the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund and break the Guinness World Record for the largest gathering of people dressed as gorillas. Number 57, most eggs crushed by wrist. Nathan Withers is an architecture student from Indiana. He uses his double jointed abilities to become the record holding pressure egg spurt, which isn't as easy as it sounds. Oh! Every time I break an egg, the yolk coats my hand and if, if it dries on there, it makes my hand really slick and it's harder to hold on to more eggs. Here we go, three, two, one, go. There it is, plain one. beginning to get slippery on his hand. Four, three, two, one, oh! And the 1999 Guinness World Records total is four eggs. Number 56, world's longest tongue. You'll never guess what Steven Taylor's claim to fame is. Nope, it's not freaking out people in bars. It's his exceptionally large protrusion. British chauffeur Steven Taylor holds the Guinness World Record for the longest tongue, measuring in at a lengthy 3.74 inches. But that doesn't seem to have helped him at all with the ladies. Maybe try buying them a drink first, Steve. Number 55, longest ski fall survived. Welcome to Valdez, Alaska, where New Zealander Bridget Mead is competing for the 1997 World Extreme Skiing Championship when suddenly a spectacular spill. Little does Bridget know she's being hurled towards danger and the Guinness World Records book for the longest vertical ski fall. Seemingly unconscious, she tumbles like a rag doll falling more than 1,300 feet for more than a minute and a half. The cameraman capturing every moment is clearly shaken. Possibly the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Miraculously, Bridget leaves the competition with only bruises and a concussion. Lucky to be alive and lucky to have a new world record she didn't even train for, falling on skis for 1,300 feet. Oh, now, as most people get older, they tend to go grey, but this next lady decided that just was not enough, and I love her for it. Number 54, most tattooed senior citizen. In Stevenage, England, Isabel Varley, at 62 years old, still gets checked out. I think I've got the bug ready for tattooing and I can't stop. It's a drug. Tattooed everywhere, except her head and feet. She's the Guinness World Record for the world's most tattooed senior citizen. It's nice to be recognized. Number 53, largest bikini photo shoot. No, Baywatch is not back. It's the world record for the biggest bikini photo shoot. Over 1,000 babes in bathing suits hit Australia's beach and were wrangled into formation for Cosmo magazine of Australia. Not a bad way to get into the record books. Number 52, deepest scuba dive by a dog. Dwayne Folsom is an avid scuba diver and a retired engineer, so he had no problem spending six months developing the perfect fitting scuba equipment for his beloved rescue dog, Shadow. Dwayne and Shadow descend to 13 feet, sharing the same air supply and earning a Guinness World Record for the deepest dive by a dog. <laughs> Number 51, most children from a single birth. 
Most people struggle with just one newborn. The diapers, the sleepless nights. Imagine having seven. In 1997, Bobby and Kenny McCoy of Carlisle, Iowa had seven kids in six minutes earning them the Guinness World Record for the most children born in a single birth. Number 50, largest synchronized skydive. In Paris Valley, California, 53 adrenaline junkies from all over the world gathered to break the current world record of 42 people free-flying in head-down formation. Going head down at 150 miles per hour, their timing and coordination must be perfect for it to work. They broke the record. 53 skydivers in the largest flying head down formation. Clint's moment of truth is almost here and the pressure is mounting. Remember, this stunt has been attempted before, but with catastrophic results. Stephen Brown, who last attempted it in 2006, crashed and was severely injured. Experts said he was lucky to have survived. Now, Clint has never come face to face with fire like that, so he set up a 20-foot tunnel to see if he could stand the heat. For a man who usually plays it pretty cool, Clint's looking pretty nervous. That's 100% right there. That's 20 feet. Now you've got 180 more feet of that. Yeah. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. And once you get hot, it's too late. You're going to start to burn. You can't fight Mother Nature. Once you're burning, you're burning. And it's real. Worst thing that can happen when he's in the tunnel is that he panics. If he stays in there too long, he starts to bake. He starts to boil. At 1,600 degrees inside the tunnel, if you don't have the protection on you, you'll, you'll burn within a, a second. With Clint, the goal today is to give him a slap in the face of reality, that this is serious. This is one of the most difficult stunts I've ever done. You want to back out? Absolutely not. We can only hope that he doesn't fall down, because if that happens, there's no stopping him getting burnt. Ready? Drop your visor. Drop your visor down, deep breath, and Clint. Go! He's on fire! Whoa. Now, when we come back, you'll see what happened. And later, he defies the weather, the heat, and the odds to take on the entire 200-foot tunnel of fire live. You do not want to miss it. Many of the stunts you are about to see are extremely dangerous. Under no circumstances should they be attempted by viewers. live to the tunnel of fire we are counting down the most amazing and breathtaking top 100 world records culminating in a death-defying tunnel of fire but before the break we saw just how unpredictable it can all be when clint's suit completely caught fire during training let's see what happened you want to back out absolutely not when we last saw clint he was about to put his limited fire training to the test. Ready, drop your visor down. Standing on the edge of hell, ready to jump in. Go! He lights up like a torch. He's on fire! See if he's okay. Okay. Watch him, he's smoking. Great, Clint, use your hand. That was awesome. The hot. Nice job, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. Well, Clint may have thought that was awesome, but the actual stunt happens in a 1300 degree tunnel that is 10 times longer. We'll see just how awesome that is. But first, our countdown continues. 
Number 49, longest spaghetti shot through nose. Matt Welch is the reigning champion and he has fierce competitors. Ricky Newell from Fresno, California and Kevin Cole from Carlsbad, New Mexico. They all think they can push their pasta the furthest. Simply carbo-load and blow. Max strand protrusion is at five and three quarter inches. Rick's is at five inches straight down. But with a seven and a half inch dangler, Kevin Cole is the new prince of pasta. He now holds the Guinness World Record for the longest spaghetti strand blown through the nostril. Number 48, furthest washing machine throw. Australian strongman Bill Linden is about to try and break the record for furthest washing machine throw. It must weigh over 99 pounds and be tossed over 9 feet. Yes, Bill broke the record of 11 feet, now becoming the Guinness World Record holder for the furthest washing machine throw. Number 47, furthest eyeball milk squirt. Talk about trying to impress a date. It's the old sniff, squeeze, and squirt maneuver. It's all in the ductwork. Istanbul's Ilker Yilmaz, the 28-year-old construction worker, has the unique talent of squirting milk like a fountain from his left eye, making him the Guinness World Record holder for the furthest milk squirt at 9 feet 2 inches. Number 46, most arrows caught by hand. Are you I'm ready? I'm confident. I'm ready. In Beijing, China, Anthony Kelly of Wagga Wagga, Australia is trying to catch as many arrows as he can in two minutes. He has less than three one-hundredths of a second to decide whether to dodge, block it, or catch it. 22, 23. Time is over! Time is over. 36 arrows, and he's the Guinness World Record holder for the most arrows caught in two minutes. By the way, don't try this at home. Number 45, deepest dive while holding breath. Herbert Nitsch can hold his breath for nine minutes. I always wanted to see what's, in, what's down there. So my excursions got longer and longer. Herbert Nitsch will try to break his own Guinness World Record for the deepest free dive of 603 feet. Let's go. To balance the pressure between his ears and throat, he uses this Coke bottle as an equalization tool. He takes one last deep breath. At 269 feet, his equalization bottle rips off. The dive just got extremely dangerous. For others, this depth has proven to be fatal. But Herbert is being monitored. He heads deeper. This is nearly the point of no return. He faces damage to his organs. He could black out. Success. He reaches an astonishing 700 feet, breaking his own record for the deepest free dive. Is it okay? I'm okay. I mean, wow, but what did he really think he was going to see down there? Fish? I don't know. Uh, now, we could not wait to get this next record off our chest. This one is for all of you guys out there. Pay attention because you might just learn something. Number 44. Most bras unhooked in one minute. Rick Kanzler and Tom Vogel are in Cologne, Germany, ready to fulfill every high school boy's dream of unhooking as many bras as they can in one minute. About face, ready, set, go. Using one hand is part of the rules. Thomas just broke the current record. And so did Rick. But not fast enough for the snapping fingers of Thomas Vogel, who now holds the Guinness World Record for unhooking 56 bras in one minute. Number 43, longest wedding dress train. He holds the Guinness World Record for longest wedding dress train. From Cypress designer Andreas Ustrachu, this train measures 4,468 feet. That's almost a mile. Here's hoping your marriage lasts half as long as this train. Number 42, longest roof-to-roof -roof jump on a motorbike. 
I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to slip and I'm not going to make it across. Super Joe Reed will attempt the longest roof-to-roof -roof jump in history, 65 feet from one 14-story building to another. Will it be a new record or an early grave? His bike buckles on landing. Goes through the safety net. Into a brick wall. Amazingly, he's alive and unharmed. He did it. He set the record, 65 feet. 41, most people in a box. Daniel Smith gets to live the ultimate male fantasy in a 26 by 27 by 22 inch box. And things get steamy for 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Then they untangle themselves to claim their Guinness World Record for three people stuffed in a box for the longest period of time. Sweaty. Now, as you can see, the tunnel thermometer reading is saying just over 1,300 degrees. This is looking hot and good. Also, there's been a bit of a break in the weather after a whole week of continuous rain here during rehearsals. So, it looks like the stunt could be going ahead very soon. We'll see you straight after this break. We're back live as Clint is preparing for his record-breaking 200-foot motorcycle ride through a fiery furnace. Now let's take a look at our next group of record holders, including this one that's quite literally out of this world. Number 40, highest parachute fall from space. The year was 1960, and the Air Force was conducting top-secret experiments to determine what would happen in the case of a high-altitude bailout from a spacecraft. Captain Joseph Kittinger wore a pressurized suit for a secret flight. A special balloon that could reach and remain at a very high altitude transported him high above the New Mexico desert. The balloon ascended to an altitude of 102,800 feet above sea level. When he stepped out of the gondola, it was into the darkness of space. Captain Kittinger free fell to Earth at a top speed of 625 miles per hour for 4 minutes and 37 seconds, making him the Guinness World Record holder for the highest parachute free fall ever. Number 39, world's tallest living horse. This statuesque beauty, Tina, is an English shire from Tennessee. She measures 20 hands high without her heels. That's 20 and, yeah, that's 20 right there. The tallest horse ever was seven foot two, but Tina, just shy of seven feet, holds the Guinness World Record for the tallest living horse. Number 38, world's smallest living horse. Meet Tiny Thumbelina. Look, you can feed her, you can feed her. She is a six-year-old miniature Sorel Brown mare from St. Louis who spends much of her time working for charity. Go oh, give her a kiss. Genetically a dwarf, she is only 17 and a half inches tall and 57 pounds, making her the Guinness World Record holder for the smallest horse. He likes me. Number 37, world's oldest human. This is the face of a woman who has lived through two world wars. These eyes witness the invention of the TV, automobile, and airplane. Remarkably, she smoked until the age of 117. But still, Jean Louise Calment, at 122 years old, holds the Guinness World Record for the oldest human being ever. Number 36, human with a third foot. I've spoken with two or three pathologists, and best, their best guest estimate is a, a genetic hiccup. Horse wrangler Jose Lopez holds the Guinness World Record for the person with the most developed third foot. But thanks to Dr. O'Shea and Dr. Alberti who donated their services, Jose now sports a new, more agile look. Jose still has the record, but thankfully not his third foot. Well, there's someone who might just have more shoes than me. Now, I'll admit, I've done my fair share of silly things in my life, I really have. But if I were this next guy, I'd be kicking myself. Number 35, most kicks to the head. 
Summoning all his barefoot bravado, Cody Warden of Bonifay, Florida, decided that repeatedly kicking himself in the noggin is a worthwhile pursuit if there's a Guinness World Record to be had. 75, 76, 77. He's done it. He's broken the Guinness World Record for the most kicks to the head with a grand total of 77 in one minute. At number 34, most watermelons smashed with head. Aussie melon picker John Allwood is on a mission to bust enough watermelons with his head to earn him a Guinness World Record. It takes raw determination and a giant surge of adrenaline. Forty smashed melons later, the 29-year-old sets the Guinness World Record for the most watermelon smashed with a head in a minute. Good as go, Mike. Good as go. Number 33, most weight lifted with teeth. Walter Arfia of Belgium is vying for a record he can really sink his teeth into by lifting 620 pounds and 10 ounces in one minute. Uh-oh. Pushing past the pain, Walter manages to set the record for most weight lifted with teeth. Number 32, most needles in head. 1,700 needles don't have to cramp your lifestyle. You can still roller skate, play basketball, conduct interviews, and get on the evening news. This human pincushion is Wei Sin Chu of China, a cosmetology doctor and acupuncture enthusiast who nailed the record for the most needles in the head, 1,790. Number 31, most beer kegs balanced on human head. How about carrying 11 kegs of beer weighing 339 pounds on your head for 10 seconds? John Evans is up to the task. He used to carry bricks on his head as a mason. Five, two, three, four, five. Yo, come on. Oh my God! He makes the 10 seconds on his head. Evans has won the Guinness World Record for the most beer kegs balanced on head. Now, I'm just going to walk over here and interrupt preparations between Clint anyway. and his team to talk to top sure fire stunt expert, clear. Mark Chadwick. Hello, Mark. Hi there. Sorry to interrupt you and disturb your preparations no here. Problem. I just want to a quick chat with you about this stunt this evening. How much is the weather going to affect this stunt? Tonight, the weather's huge. We have a, a little bit of rain, and uh, so traction control is a huge issue. We also have wind gusts, so we're really worried about Clint getting blown into the side of the tunnel right directly into the fire. Apart from the weather, what actually scares you the most about Clint going in there? Uh, it's a really scary stunt because he has basically no visibility. I mean, it's, it's 1,500 degrees in there. His uh, visibility is really limited. Also, there's no real breathable air inside the tunnel. Um, so if Clint goes down, it could be big problems for him. I hope he can hold his breath. Look, any last-minute advice for Clint? Uh, to stick to the plan, to stay calm, stay focused, drive the bike through the tunnel and get through as soon as you can. It's all about that focus. Mark, about focus. thank you so much and good luck to your team for later, okay? This is going to be amazing and it's all happening here live. Coming up, fun with hot plates. <laughs> Kicking back with cockroaches. And if you're not hooked yet, you will be now. Our top 10 is still to come when Guinness World Records Top 100 Live returns. Safety personnel, fire and rescue teams are always in place because take a look at this. These propane tanks are what we use to light that incredible tunnel of flames. Now to give you a little bit of perspective, the propane tank of an average barbecue grill is about five gallons and these tanks are approximately 11,000 gallons. We are definitely cranking the heat up tonight. Welcome back as we count down live the greatest Guinness World Record moments ever. Now, you know, there are a lot of ways to climb to the top, but this next guy is really hands-on. Number 30, most buildings scaled with bare hands. 44-year-old Alain Robert climbed over 70 structures without the use of suction devices or safety equipment. This guy can't stay on the ground, but he also can't stay out of trouble. He's been arrested everywhere, including Slovakia and Russia. Everybody has some tasks to do in our life, and uh, mine is to climb buildings. Number 29, 
fastest double dutch jump roping. Double dutch is a team sport that requires precision by the rope handlers as well as the jumpers. Jennifer, are you ready? Go! Jennifer Borlay jumps so fast, the footage must be reviewed in slow motion before judges can make any determination on a record being broken. Stop! Well Yes, Jennifer jumped right into the pages of the Guinness World Records book. 97 jumps in 30 seconds. Number 28, most jalapenos eaten. Ready, set, go! It was a hot time in old Chicago as nine finalists competed at the jalapeno eating contest. Tres, dos, uno, antero! Vamos a ver. The very spicy Alfredo Hernandez of Los Angeles has burned his way into the record books with a grand total of 16 jalapenos eaten in one minute. Number 27, longest walk across hot plates. We're turning up the heat to a scalding 282 degrees on Rolf Ivan from Germany. He's attempting to burn the record for the longest distance walking over hot plates. Three, two, one, go! He's off. He can't stand the heat, so he gets off the stove. But he still breaks the record with a sizzling 62 feet 8 inches, the longest distance walked on hot plates while still keeping his cool. Number 26, longest flying human cannonball. It's crazy to watch your son get shot out of a cannon. There's enough power in there to, uh, I tell people, make peanut butter out of you. Dave Smith Sr. and his son Dave Jr. will go head to head for the record for the furthest distance as a human cannonball. The judges measure. Dave Jr. flew 181 feet and one inch. That wasn't far enough. 185 feet 10 inches! Making Dad the reigning champion. Well, if you thought that last record took some huge cannonballs, wait till you see this next one. Number 25, most chainsaws juggled. Luckily, no buzzkill here. On September 23, 2005, Aaron Gregg sliced off a piece of Guinness World Records history by juggling three chainsaws 86 times. Number 24, highest target climb by a dog. He's got the natural ability to jump, and I've watched him leap up in the air and pick a bird right out of the air. And Duke will jump for anything, especially his favorite chew toy. Like try and jump 12 tires to break a Guinness World Record. Grabs his toy, and backwards on the way up. He's done it. The Guinness World Record for the highest jump, climb, and retrieval by a dog. Nine feet, four inches. Number 23, most crash tests by a human. Those crash test dummies sure take a beating, but the man behind the wheel is no dummy. Former police officer Rusty Haight is a crash safety expert and instructor. It's a dangerous job, but he's willing to take the impact for others. At 718 collisions, he has smashed his own Guinness World Record for most human crash tests. Number 22, largest religious gathering. I will uh, spend lifetime in this place. You want to spend your whole life here? Yeah. She's one of 20 million Indians gathered to celebrate the religious festival of Kumala. Hindus believe it is an auspicious day to bathe in the Ganges and wash away your sins, making these pilgrims not only free of sin, but holders of the Guinness World Record for the largest religious crowd ever, 20 million people. Number 21, most cockroaches with human in coffin. Delaware zoologist John Lametica isn't easily bugged. He's giving these Madagascan cockroaches free reign to head towards his every orifice. All those little pieces, what is that? Cockroach fertilizer. Guess it's worth it, earning John the Guinness World Record for the most cockroaches in a coffin, 20,050.
How lovely. Now, coming up, the drill and the spill that brought man and machine together. How did anyone survive it? That and much, much more when we return. As Clint Ewing is just moments away from his run through the fiery tunnel, we'll check in with his friends in just a bit. But first, let's continue our countdown as skateboard icon Tony Hawk ramps us up to number 20. Number 20, most revolutions on a skateboard. Skateboarder Tony Hawk is a legend. It seems as if there is nothing he can't do, except the 900. Oh! <laughs> which entails spinning two and a half full rotations in the air and landing on his feet. After trying it so many times, I started to feel like this could be the ultimate disappointment. He almost left the competition without hitting the 900, but 10 tries later... One, two, two and a half, and lands it. He did it, revolutionizing skateboarding forever. Number 19, world's largest food fight. I love hard tomatoes and hurting people. 38,000 people have come from all over the world to Buñol, Spain to throw over 275,000 pounds of tomatoes. It lasts for one hour and probably takes a week to clean up, making it the Guinness World Record for the largest food fight. Number 18, world's smallest dog. In November 2000, Buddy, a Yorkshire Terrier, received the Guinness World Record for the smallest dog. Buddy measures 4.3 inches tall and 10.6 inches from nose to tail. But wait, there's more. Proving that cuteness runs in families, the world's second smallest dog is Buddy's sister, Monica. Number 17, world's largest object removed from skull. Here's a record that no one would want to hold. I started praying to God, you know, please don't let me die. In a freak accident, 41-year-old electrician Ron Hunt fell eight feet off a ladder face first onto this, an 18-inch drill bit. I still landed with the bit up, and uh, it just skewered, skewered right through me. Miraculously, the 18-inch drill bit fractured his skull, but missed his brain. If I saw this and it wasn't him, like, there's no way it seems like this guy would be able to survive something like that. Survive it and win a Guinness World Record for the largest object removed from skull. Number 16, most bubbles blown with a tarantula in mouth. Now in the face of it, attempting to break a world record blowing bubbles doesn't seem too alarming. But try doing it with a live tarantula in your mouth. Ray McCarrick of San Jose, California takes on his challenge. What are the dangers of putting a tarantula like that in your mouth? They have claws that uh, don't retract. They want to check out the texture of what they're standing and walking on and they'll use their fangs to do that. The judges count a total of 117 bubbles, making Ray the Guinness World Record holder for the most bubbles blown with a tarantula in the mouth. Why is my question why? Now, our next record holder knows a little something about thrills and chills. Number 15, longest snowmobile ramp jump. This is freestyle snowmobiling, and only about 25 people in the world are doing it. My goal right now is just simply to beat the world record and go as far as I can without getting hurt. That's 245 feet Ross Mercer has to jump. He hits the ramp at a brave 126 miles per hour. It's a new Guinness World Record for the longest ramp jump on a snowmobile, 263 feet. That's exactly the one to do. Number 14, most body piercings in one session. A story you could get stuck on. Pinned in a chair for seven hours and 55 minutes, Kim Ma has turned himself into a human Swiss cheese. Hold on, man. 
I guess there's no prick too painful for this British hairdresser. Jabbing to the rhythm of about 100 holes an hour, we're taking heavy metal to new heights. Going to go for 3,000. But that doesn't phase Kim off. He gets the Guinness World Record for most piercings in one session with a whopping 1,015 piercings. Number 13, heaviest vehicle pulled by hooks through skin. At a painful event on the streets of Edinburgh, Circus of Horrors performer Hannibal Helmerto drags a four-ton van by meat hooks pierced right through his painted back. Braving the Scottish traffic, the 36-year-old tows his load 351 feet and sets the Guinness World Record for the heaviest vehicle pulled by hooks through the skin. Number 12, longest swim under ice with held breath. Dutchman Wim Hof has traveled here to the Arctic Circle, where it's a frigid 10 degrees. He will attempt to break the record and swim underwater for 188 feet. Finally, the time has come. Vim takes one last giant breath and plunges himself into the frozen lake. Extreme cold and physical exertion can ultimately deplete oxygen and cause a heart attack. He's now been swimming for well over a minute on a single breath. He's at the finish. But something's not right. But he appears to be making an astonishingly quick recovery. I almost fainted. I almost was unconscious. It's like the moments before you die. Peaceful. A triumphant Thim emerges as Guinness World Record holder for the longest swim under ice with held breath. How cool is that? Number 11, world's stretchiest skin. You ready for this? I don't know. English pub owner Gary Turner has a unique ability. Due to a rare disease, he is a human elastic man. When did you discover you could do this? Uh, I suppose when I was about um, eight years old, I was fooling around in class one day, and I just said to one of the guys in the classroom, I said, can you do that? Now the judges will make it official. And it's six inches. Making Gary Turner the Guinness World Record holder for the stretchiest skin. Now, let's go and chat to these guys here. These are all Clint's close friends and family here to support him in his record attempt. Now, one person who has to be particularly nervous at this moment is girlfriend Kelly Cushman. Now, Kelly, have you tried at all to talk Clint out of doing this tonight? Well, of course I have. I'm very worried. However, I just hope he goes fast and accomplishes this trick. Are you going to be able to watch it? I might have to close my eyes, but hopefully. Well, look, Kelly, try and stay calm, OK? We'll see you in a bit. Now, at moments like this, it's always good to have some family and friends around. So we've got some of our NBC family here. Alison Sweeney from Biggest Loser. How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm excited to be here. What do you think about all this madness going on here tonight? It is madness. I, for one, think all of the contestants on The Biggest Loser are record breakers, but it certainly can't compare to the excitement of being part of the Guinness World Records. I, it's going to be good. It's going to be I good. Know. Good luck, Clint. I'm very nervous and excited for him. OK, also, we have... Didn't realise how how tall you were, Justice from American Gladiator. Now, Justice, you obviously are used to a lot of challenges. What advice would you actually give Clint? Be strong, be tough, burn rubber as fast as you can and get through safe. Wise words, Justice, wise words. Up top. Okay, now tune in to The Biggest Loser Tuesday nights at 8, 7 central and catch Justice in action tomorrow night at 8 o'clock with American Gladiators right here on NBC. Now after the break, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Coming up, our final phenomenal records are here. Who will make the top 10? You don't want to miss the madness when Guinness World Records Top 100 Live returns. Welcome back here at the finish line. We're down to the moment you've all been waiting for. The top 10 Guinness World Records. The best of the best. The craziest, the wackiest. And it all counts down to Clint's death-defying live stunt. And as things rev up here, let's take a look at number 10, which is a record where size really does matter. Number 10, world's heaviest man. 
41-year-old Manuel Uribe of Mexico holds the record for the heaviest living man, weighing in at 1,235 pounds. That's the same as five baby elephants. Miraculously, both his cholesterol and his blood sugar levels are completely normal, making him a medical mystery and the Guinness World Record holder for heaviest living man. Number 9. Most Swords Swallowed and Twisted Brad, once again, we're going to ask you to take your shirt off to prove to everyone this is not a trick. Tonight, he's going for the Guinness World Record for sword swallowing. These 27-inch swords are not collapsible. That's three. That's six. And nine. He's done it. And now, Brad executes the most dangerous move of all, a twist. Making Brad Myers the Guinness World Record holder in 1998 for most swords swallowed and twisted. Number eight, furthest eyeball pop. No, I've never seen anything like this, and none of my colleagues have seen anything like this. Is she seeing a ghost? Or is it a credit card bill? No, it's Chicago and Kim Goodman's natural gift that she discovered by accident. I hit myself in the eye with a hockey mask, and it popped out of the socket. And every time I would yawn, it would pop out. Now she's a Guinness World Record holder for the farthest eyeball pop at 11 millimeters. Number seven, world's strangest diet. From Grenoble, France, Monsieur Mange 2, Mr. Eat Everything, has an appetite for the bazaar. It began when he was nine years old. He broke a glass and ate it and liked it. Since then, he has swallowed everything. Light bulbs, a bicycle, even an entire plane, piece by piece. Over 24 years, Monsieur Mange 2 certainly did eat a lot, making him the record holder for the strangest diet. Very, very good. Number six, highest free fall from a crane. Stig Gunther is used to being blown through windows, hit by cars, and set on fire. But Denmark's number one stuntman is facing death in a new way. This is the most scary, this the most challenging stunt you can do. And Stig would know. The last time he attempted to break the record for the highest drop onto an airbag, he failed. The whole of my body was just, you know, mashed together. To avoid injury, he must land on his back. Maybe this time he'll have better luck. Stig is ready. The threat of death hangs in the air. Oh no, he's heading feet first, a deadly move. A perfect landing. He leveled out at the last minute and landed a Guinness World Record for dropping onto an airbag from 343 feet. Something I'll never forget. Number five, most trucks to run over one man. In Birmingham, Alabama, 49-year-old Tom Owens is known as Mr. Muscle. He is attempting to break his personal best of being run over by six trucks. They call him the human speed bump. Don't try this at home because God has given me an exceptionally strong abdominal area here, and that's why I'm able to do it, and other people can. But will his abdomen be able to withstand the crush of a combined 60,000 pounds of steel and wheel? All right, let's get it out! Come on! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. He just tied his personal best. Can he take another 26,000 pounds? Tom Owens has broken his record and probably a couple of ribs for being run over by seven trucks consecutively.
Number 4. World's Longest Nails Sridhar Chalal came all the way from India to nail down his Guinness World Record. So what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Well, if you guessed 20 plus feet of fingernails, you'd be right. At the time, Sridhar had been growing the nails on his left hand for almost 50 years. If I broke a nail, I don't know what I would do. Luckily, Sridhar found someone who loved every last inch of him and was willing to help protect his prized possession. I knew if I married him, I would have to help him all the time, and I accepted that. Thanks to the care they both have given, Sridhar received the Guinness World Record for the longest nails on a single hand. Number 3. Largest Tumor Removed Intact I've taken out a 37-pound ovarian tumor before, and I thought that was pretty large. Dr. Kate O'Hanlon at Stanford University needed to draw on that expertise as she headed into the operating room where she was faced with this. When I saw the tumor inside the young lady that I was seeing, I was pretty amazed. The patient let this tumor grow so huge because of her fear of going into the hospital until it reached a crisis point. This mass had a risk of cancer. It had to be removed in one piece. A surgical team of 12 labored for over six hours before wheeling away the tumor. This patient had both hair and teeth in portions of this uh, massive tumor. Fortunately, it was benign and the patient made a full recovery. And her tumor set a Guinness World Record for weighing in at 330 pounds. Number two, world's hairiest family. Our next hair-raising tale comes from a quiet Mexican town that's home to an amazing Guinness World Record. They are the De Jesus family, the hairiest family on earth. Afflicted with what is commonly referred to as the werewolf syndrome, five generations of this family have been affected by a prehistoric gene. But Nadine Lee, Danny's girlfriend, doesn't mind. I met Larry first and I was used to him already. And then about a week later, I met Danny. And he was so much more hairier and he was so much cuter. And he's very sweet. Sweet and talented. For years, brothers Danny and Larry have performed in the Mexican International Circus. As acrobats and trapeze artists, proving nothing can stop them. Not even bad hair days. Time to turn up the heat. Look at that. The fire is being cranked up to an unbelievable 1,300 degrees. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Will it be destiny or a disaster? We'll see live. Welcome back. Okay, it's nearly time for the stunt. The weather has thankfully cleared up. I just want to have a quick chat with Pat. Pat, you're in charge of this huge stunt here today. Have we got the go-ahead? Are conditions safe? Yeah, we've got the go-ahead. The conditions aren't the best, but we think we can do it, and Clint's ready, and we're all crossing our fingers he's going to make it. Are you feeling confident at this moment, Pat? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. He's 100%. He's all, he's all pumped up. The bike's warm. We have a little bit of wind, but we're going to be good. Pat, let's do it, okay? So, let's do this. No, right. Yeah. We are moments away from Clint <laughs> taking part in this huge record-breaking stunt. His team are getting him ready now. He's Let's getting like focused. Right Let's do it. Let's see if Clint Perfect. can break this world record. Let me add that cap there. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Scott. Here we go. Clint, you are a Guinness World Record Breaker. Yes, Clint, you did it. I'll turn you around this way. Clint, Clint, you did it. 
you completed that record. What's going through your head? Oh, that was just quite a ride, you know? I mean, I'm sure you guys saw it, but yeah, what a thrill. Look, here's Stuart with your certificate. You're an official Guinness World Record holder. All right, hell yeah. <laughs> Three. Clint, were there any scary moments in there for you? Yeah, it was just really intimidating, especially through the middle. It got really hot, really fast. I could feel something on my back. I'm sure it was the fire, so. Just before you were there, did you feel like you could do it? Yeah, I mean, you gotta have confidence going into it. Okay, well look, Clint, congratulations. Now look, for all of you who love a good competition, remember tomorrow night is all new American Gladiators at 8, 7 Central. It's the last chance to fight for a spot in a final eight. From the Tunnel of Fire, I'm Fern Cotton. Good night. Well done, Clint. <laughs>